When Typhoon Haiyan, locally known as Yolanda, tore through the Philippines, the damage it caused was unprecedented. But for families living in coastal areas that relied on fishing, it devastated their livelihood. Pagkawin namin ng bahay, makita ko yung bahay namin, tsaka yung bangka ko, napaiyak ako nung makita ko din na bagsak kanya ng sanga ng kahoy. After the Typhoon Yolanda, it was the first time I, in my 39 years in Koron to suffer that uh, typhoon. First, uh, the livelihood, then the fisheries because the coral was totally damaged. Uh, the fishermen, their boat, it's broken. In response to this disaster, the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, worked with the government to rehabilitate the fisheries sector, targeting vulnerable fishing families who were affected by the typhoon in the eastern, central, and western Visayas. It was really important for FAO to quickly start uh, its response on the fishery sector uh, during the emergency phase and also in the recovery phase because these communities that were affected in the coastal areas are living mainly on these fisheries activities. So their livelihoods were practically destroyed. With support from the United Kingdom, FAO provided farming inputs to not only reactivate production but also promoted responsible aquaculture practices for small-scale fish and seaweed farmers, along with oyster and mussel producers. To help strengthen and improve practices, post-harvest kits and trainings were provided on how to add value to their production. Fish is a major source of protein and an immediate source of cash, particularly for women who play an important role in the post-harvest salting and drying of fish. For Rizandra Amang, who is the sole provider for her family, the assistance has been crucial to help her regain an income to support her family. Nagpatawag yung pao ng meeting, laking natutunan ko doon sa post service na yun dahil sa natuto akong gumawa ng pisbol at saka natuto akong papaano talaga gagawain ang isa na magiging presparate siya. Kaya kung papaano rin mag ano ng paglalagay ng ice sa uh, ice box. As part of building the resilience of coastal ecosystems, FAO has been supporting local government units in the rehabilitation of marine protected areas. This includes providing equipment and training to manage these areas for the recovery, protection, and natural regeneration of various fish species and coastal mangrove forests. The rehabilitation process was also an opportunity to introduce improved practices. With some 30,000 fishing boats either damaged or destroyed, FAO, in collaboration with the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, developed a hybrid fiberglass wooden boat as an environmentally sustainable alternative to using endangered hardwood timber. First, I came from Puron with uh, no knowledge in fiberglass making, but now I know how to make hybrid fiberglass banka. It is a good example for the environment. I hope that it will limit to cut the big trees in our place. They've learned a new material. They've op we've opened their eyes to a new material. I believe that we've opened their eyes not just to the point of just another training seminar. They realize that here's something that can solve that problem. The program is now starting to have far-reaching and positive impacts, with the government and other partners adopting the approach in their own activities. I like the idea, I like the approach of the FAO, the module that we are using is a very unique in terms of uh, training program implementation to our piece of work. I think together with BIPAR and in partnership with FAO, DFID, which is a funding aid for the United Kingdom, this project will come a long way and it will not be a short-term project because the Fisher book and the partnership has been developed during this venture. It will serve our Fisher book in generations to come. The rehabilitation support to the fisheries sector has not only provided new skills, it has helped put fishers on their own path to recovery. Sa unti-unti, huwag tuwa ako kahit pa paano, ngayon magagamit ko yan dahil makakadagdag hita pa rin ang aking natutunan sa training ko na yan. Makaipon man lang ng pambili ba para sa mapagawa kong bangka ko pati yung bahay ko na yun na nasira. Masaya ako dahil siya natulungan ako ng pao.